What's up guys, David here, and a lot of Android phones nowadays come with the ability to change the screen resolution from the native 1440p down to 1080p in the settings. And the idea behind this feature is pretty simple. By displaying content on the screen at a lower resolution, you create less load for the phone's GPU, which in theory should lead to lower battery consumption and better battery life. Of course, this feature is not without controversy. On the one hand, people say, it's a waste to buy a expensive phone with a high resolution screen only to limit it down to 1080p. While on the other hand, people say they can't even tell the difference between the two resolutions in terms of image quality, making the potential battery savings of 1080p seem like the obvious choice. So in today's video, we're gonna see if we can settle this debate by figuring out exactly how much battery life you save while using 1080p, so you can decide once and for all if it's actually worth it. This video is sponsored by Kaspersky Biometric Ring. Unlike a traditional password, if your biometric data, like your fingerprints, were to ever somehow get stolen, you can't just go and change your fingerprints, which is where the concept of the Kaspersky Biometric Ring came from. Using a stone that has the shape of a real finger made up of thousands of conductive fibers, the ring creates a unique fingerprint that can be used instead of your own fingerprint, meaning it can be easily replaced if ever compromised. This ring is still just a concept at this point, it's not for sale, but it's just one possible solution solution for the future of biometric security. Learn more at the link below. All right, so we're running this specific battery test using the Galaxy S10 Plus, but the results here should apply similarly to any phone that lets you change the resolution. We've controlled for all the variables that we could, including setting the screen brightness to 200 nits on each phone. And in fact, this is actually the same exact phone being tested with the only difference being the one on the left is set to 1440p and the one on the right is set to 1080p. And after two hours of going back and forth with our automated chatbots, there's no difference between the two. Both phones drop down equally to 84%, which comes as a bit of a surprise. Obviously, sending text messages isn't the most graphically intensive task, but after a full two hours, I was hoping to see at least some sort of difference. Maybe that'll change here in the gaming test, where the graphics processor or GPU is being worked a little more heavily. And after a full two hours of playing Alto's adventure, this time, there is a difference, but it's a really small one with the 1080p Galaxy being only one percentage point ahead, which may be thanks to that lower resolution, but at the same time, because it's so close, it could very well just be within the margin of error. So we'll see if that trend can continue here in the maps test, where hopefully we can begin to get a more definitive result. Now, navigation isn't as graphically intensive as playing a game, but it's still a real world task that people do in their phones, so it's important to test here where after two hours of simulating navigation, the lower resolution made no difference. In fact, both phones are tied once again at 42%, showing us just how small that initial difference from the gaming test actually was. We'll see if anything can change here in YouTube, where we're watching the same set of videos on each phone, with the videos set to display at their maximum resolution. So 1440p on the phone on the left, and at 1080p for the phone on the right. And after two hours of YouTube binge watching, once again, there's no difference. Both phones finished the test with the same 20% of battery life remaining, which is a little bit surprising. I wasn't expecting a huge difference overall, but I was at least expecting some difference. So we decided to run another test, just in case this was a fluke, this time with the smaller Galaxy S10. We ran each phone through our more comprehensive phone buff style battery test, and it was the same story. Test after test after test, we kept on getting the same exact result. And after a full 24 hours of testing these phones across two days, the two phones literally finished within seconds of each other, which obviously can be attributed to the margin of error and not a difference in resolution, meaning at least with the apps that we tested here, setting your resolution to a lower level via software doesn't seem to make a difference. So if you have one of these phones with the ability to change the resolution, I turn it up all the way up to the maximum and enjoy all those beautiful pixels that you paid for. Anyways, that is it for me in this video. Thank you guys for watching, and as always, I'll see you in the very next episode.